I'm Phil Farley, I'm with uh, one of my recently finished commissions. Uh, the title of this particular piece is Nightfall. So the client in this particular case for this commission, that when we got the initial talks going, um, we discussed the size of the war, it's a large war for his dining room, and uh, we actually end up working to a size of 2.4 metres uh, wide, which is really the, lo uh, the largest uh, canvas that I've produced. Um, I've done wall murals in the past, but not a canvas quite this size. Uh, the client in this case was also familiar with the uh, cityscapes I've done in the past. For some reason we got talking along the lines of his favourite restaurant, uh, which happened to be at Pier 9, uh, George's Paragon restaurant, a uh, seafood restaurant, and he often takes his clients there. Uh, his favourite table in this particular case is on the veranda of the, of the restaurant, and this is exactly the view you get from George's restaurant. Um, I, I, I suggested, well if you want a cityscape, have it, I, I go there with my tripod and camera, uh, and I can take a series of photographs, potentially used as reference photographs, as the twilight colours uh, came into effect. And you've got these wonderful city lights on the Story Bridge, etc., and the Kookaburra Queen, of course, in the foreground. But it's a very large canvas to the point where it couldn't be done on a usual uh, timber uh, stretcher frame. We actually have an aluminium frame uh, just to keep it nice and true over time, make sure there's no warping. So it was a very large, very empty canvas to start with. So it was a, a very serious draw up job, which took uh, quite a few days. If you're talking this sort of detail on the Kookaburra Queen, for instance, um, there's a lot of work simply just in the drawing up stage. And it all had to be fairly accurate. But a lot of base colours uh, cover that white canvas, and then it's a slow process of feeding in that, that detail progressively. The emphasis obviously was a focal point here, was the Kookaburra Queen. And, and my usual Farley style here, I don't get uh, uh, distracted by the challenge of lots of detail. In this case, it was a wonderful result and uh, once again exaggerating the colours and it's, it's captured a nice mood of Brisbane that's not so uh, well is underappreciated you might say. Uh, well the usual story of these paintings you feel like you're going at a, at a great speed when you get those base colours down but obviously what slows you down is that detail and intricacy of the, of the brushwork. The challenge in this particular piece is that even this, the, the girder structure of the, um, the story bridge uh, has to be correct so there was no quick way of doing that. Uh, the detail on the Kookaburra Queen was the other item that took a lot of time. Overall, really, there's a few months worth of work there. Uh, you really do slow down trying to get some of this sort of detail right. Uh, but it being the focal point, there's, there's no choice in the matter. It has to be done correctly. So the bottom line is, it was a wonderful result. Uh, uh, it's another good example of a, a piece designed for a, a given size wall. Um, memories for the client again, and really it shows Brisbane in, in a great light. I mean, we underestimate how pretty our city is. It's, it is a, a lovely river city setting, uh, and especially this time of night where you get those reflections going. Now you can see the finished piece uh, hanging in its intended environment. You surely you can understand why everyone's happy. Totally delighted with the, re the finished result.